Hello, everybody, and welcome to the ET Considers Everything Sports Podcast for Friday, July 15th, 2016. On this edition, I will be recapping round one of the Open Championship from World Troon, and we'll be giving you a live update from round two of the Open Championship from World Troon Golf Club in Scotland. I'll also be taking a look at the Tour de France that's taking place currently in France. Yesterday was Bastille Day in France, and um, we had a terror attack that took place yesterday in Nice, France. 75 people were killed by a suicide uh, a person that was killing people, and we uh, need to have our hearts and prayers go out to all those people involved in the attack yesterday. And... Um, Without further ado, let's get going with the sports podcast. First, I'd like to talk about the Open Championship. Ben Mickelson is currently leading the Open Championship after round one. He shot an opening round nine under par uh, 63, or excuse me, eight under par 63. Um, he held, held a three-shot lead after the first round over second place Patrick Reed and second place Hendrick Stenson as well. So great opening round there, no doubt about it. Currently ongoing in the second round, Phil Mickelson has finished up his second round. He shot a two under par 69 to get underway for round two. He's currently at 10 under par and is currently has a one shot lead over Henrik Stenson who has came to form today and is six under par currently on his round and is one shot back of, Henrik, of Phil Mickelson at nine under par. Um, we also had um, Tour de France that's going on today in France, stage 13. We had a big wreck yesterday on the course. Um, several of the riders were involved in a wreck with a camera tower, and it uh, really affected the progress of the race. One of those involved in the wreck, wreck was race leader Chris Froome. Chris Froome currently holds the lead in the Tour de France by 48 seconds in the overall standings. And with eight stages to go, uh, he looks to continue to hold on to that lead and win the Tour de France and the yellow jersey. Um, big time feat there going into Paris here soon. Um, the Tour de France will end one week from Sunday. Also, we have um, some NFL news to talk about this morning. Vaughn Miller has received the latest contract offer from the Denver Broncos with $70 million in guaranteed money. That would make him the highest paid player in the history of the NFL in terms of guaranteed money. Um, sources close to the situation are saying that he is definitely look, keeping an eye on that agreement, but he has until 4 o'clock today to sign that contract. If he doesn't sign that contract, then the Denver Broncos will definitely use the franchise tag to keep Von Miller at their disposal and to have him on the roster. Aaron Rodgers has announced that he would like to finish his career with the Green Bay Packers no matter what it takes for the team and every, everyone around him. That's a very big move there by Aaron Rodgers to make that statement, and I, I, I commend him for that because not a lot of people would say that. A lot of people would look for the best money offer that's on the table right now for them. But he said that he would like to finish his career with the Green Bay Packers because they're a great franchise and they really offer everything that he wants. So it's wonderful to see him make that statement and wonderful to hear him make that statement as well. MLB news to report on today. The second half of the MLB season gets underway this evening and all the division leaders will be back in action. The AL division leaders are as follows. In the AL East, it's the Baltimore Orioles. In the AL Central, it's the Cleveland Indians. And in the AL West, with the best record in Major League Baseball, it's the Texas Rangers. In the NL, the division leaders are as follows. In the NL East, it's the New York Mets. In the NL Central, it's the Chicago Cubs. And in the NL West, it is the San Francisco Giants, who have the best record in the National League. San Francisco Giants have won three of the last five World Series championships, winning them in 2010, 2012, and 2014. It is an even number year. That is a superstition that a lot of people have looked at, and it's very possible that they could win the World Series championship this year. They have a lot of very good pitching, and they have a lot of very good hitting at their disposal. 
So it's going to be fun to see how everything plays out during the second half of the MLB season. Can the Chicago Cubs get back in the MLB playoffs for the second straight season and go for their first World Series championship since 1908? Can the Kansas City Royals get back in the playoffs, catching the Cleveland Indians and trying to overtake them in the AL Central and get back in the World Series to try to defend their World Series championship? All these stories will play out as the second half of the MLB season gets underway today. NBA free agency continues and a lot of big moves have already happened. Kevin Durant has gone to the Golden State Warriors. Rajon Rondo has gone to the Chicago Bulls. We have Derrick Rose traded to, from the Chicago Bulls to the New York Knicks. Joachim Noah signed a free agent contract with the New York Knicks. And we also had Hassan Whiteside decide to stay with the Miami Heat on a four-year contract worth about $90 million. Manu Ginobili has also signed a one-year contract with the San Antonio Spurs for about $10 million. This comes days after um, Tim Duncan decided to retire from the San Antonio Spurs after a legendary 19-year career, which he led the San Antonio Spurs to five NBA championships. He was also named the NBA's all-time first team and will definitely be looked at as one of the all-time great power forwards in league history. So definitely a lot of great news coming out of NBA free agency. And I look forward to seeing how all this plays out going into the Rio de Janeiro Olympics coming up next month. A lot of the NBA players and stars have decided to stay out of the Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games due to the Zika virus concerns, but Team USA has announced its full roster, and notables on that include Paul George. So it's going to be fun to see how Team USA does without their full allotment of stars. Um, France was the last team to qualify for the Olympic basketball tournament. They done that on Sunday, defeating Team Canada 73 to 64. They are the last team to qualify for the Olympic basketball tournament. So those are, are, are your big headlines today for Friday, July 15th, 2016. And that's going to do it for this edition of the ET Considers Everything podcast. If y'all don't mind, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, I'll keep you posted with everything that goes on in the sports world throughout the next few days and months and years to come. For now, this is E.T. Eric Tyler Mullins reporting from Pound, Virginia. Hope you all have a great Friday and a great weekend. Later, everybody. Thanks for all your support, and thank you for always believing in me and trusting me to give you the sports news that you love.